I've always struggled with titles. It's useful in terms of being able to identify a work and, and also a word is a signifier so it can uh, lead to um, other meanings. I'm not very formal or very disciplined about which areas I study, but when I, when I do get involved, I go very deeply into one particular area to try to draw out uh, iconic possibilities. To tell a story between civilizations or between uh, uh, moments in time. I think that all graphic activity involves repetition. All art involves repetition. Um, a, paint, a paint stroke, a painting, involves many repeated um, acts to build up an image. So uh, for me, it's, it, it's, it's also uh, an effort to um, reach a trance-like state. In this work, the colors are distributed over a surface of liquid. So each color has a specific weight. So it's how it acts on the surface of this liquid is a way of um, understanding the physical nature of these uh, colors and what they are specifically in terms of uh, how they react. I'm interested in um, establishing different emotional states through the use of color and um, I'm very um, interested in um, juxtapositions that are challenging. I think an artist can be an activist. Uh, art in and of itself has a political dimension. It can um, raise consciousness and bring out a more humanistic understanding. And I think that that is something that we see in the work here. It's something I'm trying, that I think about, that I'm trying to um, bring a certain paradigm to a model of um, the possibility of um, uh, extending this kind of knowledge and thinking in the world. Of course, it's a long shot. It's a very, it's a very, uh, a hard thing to accomplish. The only legitimate position is to believe in the, um, the infinite perfectibility of human beings. We need more intelligent actors politically in the world, so if I can help, I'm, I'm, I'm all too willing to do that.